In this very video, we'll be treating Laplace transform. So, um, inverse Laplace transform actually. So, right now we're asked to find the inverse Laplace of um, 1 over 2s minus 3. Well, this is very similar to exponential to the power of 8. It's very similar to it. The only problem is the Laplace transform of exponential to the power of 80 is equal 1 over s minus a. So with this, it means s just has the power of 1. So right now, this, I said the power of 1. Yes, that's the power of 1. Also has coefficient of 1, sorry. These two here has to then change. So let me rewrite this as the inverse Laplace of since I need the equation of s here to be 1, I can divide everything by 2. So I'm going to have 1 over 2 here, all over s, minus 3 over 2. That's the meaning. So I'm going to have that very expression there. But the next thing that will happen is this. This 1 over 2 here is actually a constant. So since I'm going to be using this guy, so this is 1 all over 2, inverse Laplace of what will be left here is 1, obviously, divided by s minus 3 over 2. Now, if you compare these two together, what are you saying? We have 1 over s minus a. So this is 1 over s minus 3 over 2. So what do you think here? a is what? 3 over 2. So this will become 1 over 2. What is the inverse of this guy? To become exponential, a is what? 3 all over 2 what? t. So this will become the result to that very equation. It's a very simple one. Thank you very much.